Welcome to this week's episode of Talking Ink with Urban Streetwear. We're very excited to have our next guest on. She was crowned Miss Ink Australia and New Zealand for 2016. She has some amazing colour pieces and she's a huge cat fan. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dolce Onyx. Thanks for coming on, Dolce. <laughs> Hello. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, our pleasure. Absolutely. Um, Bang Bang referred you to us, so we're happy to have you. Uh, she's a sweet girl. That's that's very kind of her. <laughs> now, tell us about your work and how it all started. Um, well, as you, as you mentioned, I've got um, quite bright, colourful tattoos. Um, that's kind of my passion when it comes to tattoos. Even though I love all forms, I thought my for myself, I'd personally like to get um, a bunch of bright, colourful bits and pieces. So, most to, to sum it up, mostly I have a lot of animal tattoos. I have quite a few cats. Um, as you mentioned, I'm a cat lover, so I have like three cat tattoos. My left arm is a underwater sleeve. Um, my right arm is a kind of creepy circus, and I'm in the in the process of doing my legs at the moment. Um, didn't actually start getting tattooed until I was about 23, so a couple of years ago. Um, just went out on a whim and decided finally I was going to bite the bullet and go get my first tattoo, and the rest is history, basically. Yeah, cool. Now, uh, what conventions have you done recently or are you planning to do this year? Um, well, the most recent one that I was at was the Australian, um, Australian um, International Tattoo and Body Art Expo that was um, at, in Sydney back in March. Um, so I was there. Um, hopefully, we'll be getting to the, um, the Melbourne leg of that later on in the year. I'm also hoping to do rights. The, uh, rites of Passage in Sydney um, when it comes out in October, time permitting, um, as well as hopefully jumping over um, across to New Zealand and doing their um, major convention that they have in November. Yeah, fantastic. Now, when you're looking for an artist, what do you look for in an artist when you're deciding on a piece? Um, I guess it would depend on the individual piece that I'm doing. Um, most of my work has been done by Matu. Um, he works out at Broadway Tattoo in Sydney. He um, and I have known each other for quite some time. Um, he's done pretty much a good chunk of my work. But when I'm looking for an artist, um, as I said, it would depend on the actual piece, whether and what kind of style, if someone specialises in a in particular style that I'm wanting, that would be um, the main draw point. Also, like clean line work, when it comes to colour, I look like solid, bold, bright designs, um, as well as a good, good attitude. I like to be able to vibe with my artist as well. So being able to sit with them for a few hours for big pieces definitely makes it a lot easier. Now, you've worked with a, a lot of different photographers on a lot, a lot of different projects. Who's been some of the favourite photographers that you've worked with? Um, well, I've, I've got to make a mention of um, Gavin Creative. Um, he and I have worked together for many years now. He took a chance on me when I was very, very early on in the, in the game. And we've kind of just bounced off each other any time that we've got a special project that we're wanting to do. We kind of jump on each other and go, let's do it. Um, a big highlight, though, would have definitely been working with Hugo V um, back in December last year. That was one of my bucket list photographers that I wanted to work with. So that was very exciting. As well as working with Jason and the team at Inked Magazine, that was definitely a highlight for me back in um, the, I think it was November that we did the shoot for the cover, so that was all very exciting. Yeah, now speaking of Inked Magazine, you were crowned Miss Inked for Australia and New Zealand in 2016 earlier this year. Can you tell us about more about that and what it's meant for you? Uh, it's been a crazy experience. I, I didn't really expect to um, even make top 10, to tell you the truth, when I first entered, so that was very exciting for myself um, to even just be listed a bunch um, in amongst a bunch of beautiful women that also made the top 10 um, so to take that out that was just I, I, it still blows my mind that I even won the title to tell you the truth so I'm very thankful for the opportunity and everyone backing me um, voting for me in the magazine really backing me but the main thing that I think other than getting my first cover which was a massive goal that I had for myself for 2016 just getting to work alongside the magazine and write articles for them and interview some of my, um, I guess, inspiration, the models that inspire me and stuff like that. That's definitely um, been a huge part of it for me. And who are those, some of those models that inspire you? 
Um, well, I've always looked up to people like Sabina Kelly, um, Sarah Moodle. Um, oh, there's so many to list. I feel, I feel like I'll insult someone if I don't um, include them all. Um, but as well as Mary Lee Maxwell, that's definitely someone that I um, look up to. I was lucky enough to meet a couple of those guys back in December at the Dark Star Model Show over in New Zealand, which was fantastic. Get a little bit starstruck when meeting some of those girls, but they're also really down to earth. So it's always a great experience. Now, if you could get tattooed by anyone, who would it be and why? Um, I've got a few people that I'm um, wanting to get tattooed by. There's a few people that I actually know personally that I have um, lined up to get a bit of work from. One of them is Todd Bailey. He also works at Broadway Tattoo. He's going to be um, tattooing the back of my head. He does really great realism work, and it's going to be my first black and grey piece. So I'm looking forward to doing that. So we've... Um, jumped backwards and forwards and discussed bits and pieces in regards to that. Um, there's oh, there's so many names to, um, to list. Oh, um, Hannah Aitkinson, she does really good pin-up, um, pin-up models. That's definitely someone that I'd like to get to do a little pin-up girl on me somewhere as well. Right. And what was one of the most painful areas you've ever had tattooed? Uh, well, I haven't actually gone into the... Um, the torso yet so if you ask me in a couple of months I might have a different answer but so far on my arms and legs probably the most painful that I've had which was my calf actually I found that extremely uncomfortable in comparison to other parts of my legs my shin was actually a lot more comfortable than doing my calf I actually found right there you go now, yeah before... it's strange <laughs> before someone gets a tattoo what advice do you give them um, my biggest piece of advice is do your research, find out who does what and um, figure out what kind of styles you like, get a bunch of reference images together um, and go in with an open mind as well. Tattoo artists will definitely know whether something will translate better as a piece of artwork or if it will translate onto the skin. Um, so go in there with an open mind. They might suggest that little bits and pieces need to be chopped and changed so that way it ages well. But the main thing is get in there, really know what you're after and make sure that you really like it. I don't think that every tattoo has to have a story. It's great if it does. Um, but as long as you really like the art piece and you're happy to wear it on your skin, I think that's enough reason in itself. Yep. And what's your number one after tattoo care tip? Um... I stay out of the sun. That's probably my biggest thing. Um, I don't want my bright colours to fade, so I am constantly popping on sunscreen. You can smell me coming a mile away. You can smell the sunblock definitely in summer. That's probably my number one. And, you know, I, the one piece of advice that I was given when I started getting tattooed was treat a tattoo like you treat your car. Like if you look after the paint, it'll look after you. Yeah, cool. Now... Can you describe yourself in a sentence? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I think you summed it up pretty well at the start. I'm a bit of a crazy tattooed cat lady. I think that's the easiest way to sum myself up. Now, you mentioned that you've got plans for a back of the head tattoo. Have you got any other yep. tattoo plans for the future? Um, pretty much doing everything except for my face. Um, I'm going to be doing my... The, uh, my, the back of my head go, going down to my neck. I don't know if I'll be doing my throat yet, but I'll definitely be doing my chest, um, my ribs, full back, completing both legs, as well as oh my probably I've got to get my other foot done as well. So that's also on the cards. That one's getting drawn up at the moment. Cool. Now, have you got any recommendations of who we should interview next? Um, I definitely think that you guys should either interview Chloe Raven or Sarah um, Jane Gray. They are two massive friends of mine and they're kicking massive goals in the industry at the moment and they've got some killer ink too. Okay, fantastic. And finally, any last words, shout outs or special thanks? Um, I just want to thank um, you guys for having a chat with me basically as well as everyone that supported me um, throughout the years. Um, my family and my friends have been definitely a big part they've always had my back and um you know never say never they're always pushing me when i feel like i can't um necessarily achieve those goals so i definitely want to say a shout out to those guys fantastic well thanks for coming on and having a chat with us this week no problem at all thanks so much for having me and we'll talk again soon
No problem. Thank you. Okay, everyone, that was Dolce Onyx. You heard it here on Urban Talking Inc. with Urban Streetwear. Join us again next week for another special guest, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.